With the recent cold weather, a lot of us are looking for ways to stay warm. On the menu, hot soup, hot tea, and maybe some extra layers of clothing. But if turning up the heat is also in your plans, it could cost you. SNN Local News 6 reporter Jessica Jordan is live at a Florida Power and Light office in Sarasota with more on what you can do now to keep those power bills in check. Jessica. Well, this cold snap we are in will last through next week, and chances are the temperatures will drop even lower. And that's why local business owners are turning up the heat to keep the customers coming back. Children come in as well as the adults, and we want it to be as comfortable for them as possible. Employee Thelma Lemberg keeps the toy lab on Main Street around 74 degrees to give customers a break from the cold outside. Several local business owners say they're continuously pumping in warm air these days, and that could cause heating bills to spike. You have to anticipate that that's going to happen, and you can't help that. That's part of the expense of having a retail store. This cold front will stick around into next week, and there's a chance the mercury may drop even more. Florida Power and Light say it's important to monitor your heat usage, especially over the next couple weeks. Heat is typically more expensive than um, you know it is. The, the air conditioning is that your machine needs to work harder to warm your home. FPL staff recommend using a programmable thermostat so that you can turn it off when you leave the house. That way, you aren't unnecessarily heating your home. Fluctuations in your heating bill could also depend on how well insulated your home is. As for many of these store owners, they're forking over the extra money. It's a small price to pay to keep business booming. If it's another 50 or $75 a month, you cannot help that expense. You must make the customer comfortable. And Florida Power and Light does have several tips on their website, FPL.com, ways that you can save money. One of those tips, limit hot showers. They say when it's very cold like it is tonight, people tend to take extended hot showers, and that can hike your bill. All right, Jessica, help us out now with a little advice. If you want to set your thermostat to save some money, and maybe if you have one of those thermostats that where you can set it for different temperatures at different times of the, of the day, what should you put there? Well, staff say you want to set that thermostat between 68 and 72 degrees all day long while you're away from your home. And to find more information, you can actually contact FPL to get an energy survey done. They'll actually have staff come out to your home and do an assessment to find out ways you can save energy.